Hey all my crafty friends, who's ready to start some Christmas crafting? I know I am. I will be trying my best to put out at least four videos per week until Christmas, and I think you will love what I have in mind. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my Christmas videos, and if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, just hit the bell notification. Merry Christmas! In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make these cute mini stacked books using scrap wood. These books work great on tier trays, bookcases, tables, or just about anywhere you want to show them off. The wood I'm using today is approximately three quarter inches thick, five and a quarter inches long, and three and a quarter inches wide. I'm using some leftover wood from a project I did a while back. I used sheetrock mud to fill in some cracks. After it dried, I sanded it smooth. I didn't have any red chalk paint so I mixed some up so I could create the color I wanted. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And I started painting the two pieces of wood. I then applied hot glue and centered the books on top of each other. I am only using two blocks for this stacked book project, but you can use as many as you want. After I applied the glue, I held the books down for just a moment to make sure that the glue was sealing well. I then used a block sander from Dollar Tree and sanded the chalk paint so it would have a smooth feel and also it gave it more of a rustic look which is what I was going after. After I was finished sanding, I sprayed some rubbing alcohol onto the block and rubbed it with a paper towel. This helps to get any sand dust off of the wood. I have found rubbing alcohol to be the best at this because it dries quickly. I used my Cricut to cut out Merry Christmas at a size that would fit on the side. I used my duck shelf liner to transfer the words to the book. I have to say, this shelf liner is amazing. It works so much better than transfer paper. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. See how easily it picks up the letters to be transferred? I don't even have to apply that much pressure. I usually just rub my finger across the letters and they stick. I made sure the words lined up the way I wanted them to, and also that they were straight. I picked up this Americana Cream Wax at Tuesday morning yesterday to give it a try. I don't know if you have a Tuesday morning near you, but if you do, make sure you check out the clearance section. That's where I got this wax, and I paid less than a dollar for it. I took a soft cloth and rubbed the wax over the entire book stack. I let the wax dry for about 15 minutes. I had this wired burlap ribbon I wanted to add to the book stack. I cut the ribbon down to size and hot glued it to the back of the books. Next, I made a simple bow and tied it in the middle with some lace I had left over. I cut little notches at the end of the bow. I say notches because I don't know what they're called. If you know what the name of this is, please let me know in the comments. I messed around with the bow until I was happy with the way it looked and then glued it to the ribbon that was already on the book stack. These little books can be used for all different occasions. This is just my Christmas version of them. If you are interested in purchasing the set or the pre-cut vinyl so you can make your own, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will be putting out more Christmas videos every week and you know you don't want to miss out on them. Merry Christmas! And as always, thanks for watching.